everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We are going to continue our exploration with the area. So instead of going for the bosses first, what we're going to do is come down here. Alright, we have a big dude to our left. Now, once we kill him, all these fireballs will just go away. Nope, you can target them as well, which is a big pain in the butt. Alright, so that'll clear all the ones that he summoned. Uh, we're not going to go down those stairs just yet. We've still got a whole bunch of Gru to beat. So, first things first, we want to come over here to the left and take out as many of these guys as we can before we get swarmed in a group. Ay yeah. Oh, this is bad. Whoa ho ho. Man, you guys hit so hard. Alright, don't worry about uh, being a little bit frivolous with your... Uh, with your healing at the moment. Alright, we're going to come back and rest in a second anyways. I just want to come through here and grab a couple of items. Uh, there's an enemy to our left coming up. Alright, big angry dude. They are annoying. There's also a second one right here. These guys kill me more than anything in this area. Alright, we have a fire statue over here. As well as a blob in front of the item. How dumb of me, I should have realized it was there. That is fine. Alright, grab the ember. And from here, we're just going to go back to the bonfire. much easier way of dealing with this crap. Don't know why I rested, but that's fine. Alright, now from here it's just a rinse and repeat of the first guy. Let's just try and get the backstab on him. What do you drop? They can drop machetes as well, which is pretty cool weapon. Alright, we have two more of these guys down here. Hey. One down. Oh, fireballs. Oh, fireballs. I don't know what the hell you were attacking. Stop that. He was summoning another fireball. Alright, coming over here. There's a fire guy that's going to drop. We just want to aggro him. Alright, run behind him, grab the undead bone shard, and we're going to run on out. Uh, from here, we want to take the sort of left-hand pathway. Uh, actually, scratch it, that's where we came from. We want to come to the right-hand pathway. There's a rat. We have more rats. Should be a lot more. Uh, I just want to check the pathway I came from. I don't think there's anything up there. In fact, I feel like it's a hole in the ground. 
It is, it's a hole in the ground. That'll take us to lava, so we'll uh, get that stuff much later on. Uh, anyways, from here what we can do is go over to this wall, whack that, and look to our left. Alright, we have a uh, Kualana Pyromancy Tome. So this was uh, a boss we fought in Dark Souls 1, I'm pretty sure. Again, lava area, flash sweat's going to help you out heaps. I'm used to Elden Ring where it doesn't kill you in five seconds, but uh, this will. Right, we want to take this area. There should be a rat to our left. Going down here. More rats. We have a giant one. Should have a bunch of minis. We do. Oh, nice. That was very satisfying. Nope, not here. There's an illusion wall right here. Alright, we have a chest. Three large tide nut shards. There's another illusion wall behind it. Alright, we can drop down, grab the Isolith staff, and I'm actually going to position myself so that I take out as many of these as possible. Yeah, he took out three. That was cool. There are heaps of basilisks in this area. I missed any items, that's fine. Okay, so coming up here, there's actually a little pathway to our left. And this is what's going to get us the uh, Foom Ultra Greatsword. Now, this guy can easily take you out in a couple of hits, so just be very careful of him. Nice. Alright, so we got the Foom Ultra Great Sword and Black Iron Great Shield. Nothing down there, so that's fine. I don't have the stats to use this yet. Uh, I could use it two handed, but um, I'm not going to worry about that too much at the moment. We will get our strength up to 50 before we carry on. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So, strength requirement of 50, we can, however, two handed. And it's going to put us up heaps in our weight ratios. Alright, for this guy you just sort of want to like aggro him and then run all the way back because he can push you off the ledge which is a bit of a pain. Oy. I wasn't sure if I was going to get that off or not. What you going to drop me? Nothing. Cheapskate. Alright, we'll come over here to the right. Soul of a Crestfallen Knight. Now, coming up here, we're about to grab my favourite bow of all Dark Souls. I used it quite heavily in Dark Souls 2. I don't know, bows in this game just don't hit for me like Dark Souls 2 did. Uh, they're really cool. Uh, second ladder. All 
All right, we're going to drop down. Grab the Dragon Rider bow. Drop down again. May as well heal. Right, we're going to be coming across a few skeletons and of course this giant uh, arrow flinging machine, a trebuchet, I guess, uh, will start firing at us if we're not careful. Grab the homeward bones. Would it be a trebuchet or would it be a crossbow? A giant, well, I don't know. It flings giant arrows at us. Uh, what we're going to do is aggro these guys. Alright, we'll take them out. You don't want to go too far up there. Nice. So you want to take out these two. And we have this guy here. So you want to sort of aggro this one and then bring them all the way back. Just so that there's not two of them in the fight. To be fair, the rate this club's going, this is our skeleton smasher for sure. Well, I probably could have taken on both of those guys and be fine, but I didn't want to risk it. Um, anyways, here's the contraption for the giant crossbow triple shade thing, whatever. Can we please just... Oh, I was on the wrong side, that's fine. Alright, so no matter how often we rest, this thing is not going to turn back on unless we physically turn it back on. Kind of helpful. Uh, from here you can go exploring, there might be a couple of like, random-y sort of items, but uh, I'm not going to worry with that crap. Instead what we're going to do is go back to the last bonfire we rested at, and we're going to take on a couple of bosses. Uh, and actually grab my favourite shield too. So grab the large Titanite Shard. We are going to come down here. Alright, eventually this giant worm is going to come out of the ground. Alright, as soon as you see him you want to run back. And you want to stand on this sort of ridgy part here. Alright, when he stops, just want to whack a couple of times and then roll back. His health bar is very hard to see. Okay, when he comes up here, does this lightning thing, you want to whack him a couple of times. Alright, like I said, his health bar is very hard to see. And then roll back. Once he does his windy thing. Oh, yep, he can knock you back. Alright, this sort of jerky move, can't really get a good lock on him, so we're just going to ignore that. Jump! I'm trying to see his health bar, but I can't quite. Did we kill him? I think we killed him, nice. Cool, so we got lightning stake and undead bone shard. 
We have a large Titanite Shard. We have the Shield of Want, which is exactly what I wanted, no pun intended. And over here, large Titanite Shard. Cool. Stop emoting. From here, we are going to go back to the last bonfire we rested at, just so we can uh, get back out. Estus as well as summon. So I am going to summon two people for this fight, mainly to take their uh, the attention off me. All right, so we want Torg. Once he's summoned, he's just going to follow us. And I always call this lady the cucumber, but I don't know what it is. Cucullus. There we go. So she's a sorcerer. Um, so anyways, from here it's just pretty much a giant uh, fire demon. Alright, this guy's a bit harder than the other ones we fought. Alright, once he starts doing his fiery crap, you just sort of want to wait for the distractions to come in. Ooh. And then you just want to bash his tail. Alright, keeping behind him is your best bet. Alright, once he goes on fire like that, you just want to be very careful. Alright, he'll eventually start doing a move where this one here will summon fireball rings. Uh, if they go outward, just roll through them. If they go inward, try to stay close towards him. Yep, Cucumber Lady set him on poison, which is great. He might not even get those attacks off. Oh, but he did explode. And the old Demon King is down. So, you can avoid a lot of his moveset just by smacking the crap out of him and having those guys distract him. Um, I found this guy very difficult on my own because he would always do those movesets and I'd rather just get rid of him sooner rather than later. Uh, so from here we're going to go back to Firelink Shrine, we'll level up and then we'll take ourselves on to Anor Londo. be of service. So I want to sell those. What do we have here? Soul of a demon. I'll sell that. Soul of an old demon king. We will sell that. Ashen one. Ah, it is good, isn't it? All right, we can reinforce our Estus. Let's upgrade a whole bunch of weapons. Hmm. Alright, so that's, uh, what? 400 and... Let's go 445. This is... 400... Roughly the same. That has an A scaling in strength, this has a B scaling in strength, so that is fine. We'll do this up a little bit. Um, while we have the souls too, I will do this thing. <clears throat> Since we're um, pretty okay for, uh, for levels and stuff, you want to buy this tower key right here. Alright, we're going to go level up. Cool. Alright. Now we'll go use that tower key. So we want to come up. Uh, 
wait for the mist here to sort of settle because for some reason it can load entire areas just not outside the hub I'd be curious as to know why that is like there's not a criticism there's probably a very good reason for it uh, can we interact with this we can seed of a giant tree nice so what they do is they um let enemies start attacking like invaders and stuff like that normally they won't aggro towards their presence but that will make them aggro which is kind of cool uh, so anyways use the the key on the tower 20 grand tower uh, at this point what you can do is if you didn't want to jump off that tree like I did you can jump down here all right uh, the pickle crows whatever they are, are right above my head in the center so if you do want to use them out there absolutely fine what we're doing now is we are um, we're grabbing an item that's going to progress a particular ending. It's not the ending we're going for, but if you did want to go for that ending for a trophy, for say, um, this is how you do it. So, come over here. We're going to listen out. All right, that door's going to close, just like that. All right, we're going to come up the top here. Now it is very likely I'm going to die. That is fine. Grab the firekeeper's soul. Now, I'm not going to give this to the firekeeper simply because I don't want to progress that ending. If you do, by all means, please do. Uh, there's two items that we need to give her. There's the firekeeper's soul and firekeeper's eyes, I think. Um, anywho. Be more some play. Ooh. <laughs> all right, so we have patches, this little I bastard. Alright, he's pretty much telling us that he's going to pick our stuff off our corpse. Now, see this item here? This is our sort of saving grace here a bit. What we're going to do is just run along this crack, straight ahead, and try jump as straight as possible, which did not happen. Attempt number three. Nice, and we got the firekeeper's robes. So from here we can safely jump down just all right grab the estus ring hell yes i'm using an ember that was almost almost death all right now remember if you didn't kill the uh the master he will be here Alright, what we're going to do is go up and see patches. Alright, he sells things for incredibly expensive. Ah, a slinking rodent. But he did me a good turn. That was a well. <laughs> Ah, the was well. <laughs> Can't find any way you could draw. He's a bit of a dick. I mean, honestly, most of the time I kill him right now, but for the sake of the walkthrough, I will be nice. I do want to go see Grey Rat just for a second. Oh, and in Goodbye. So he oh, this doesn't want to go, uh doesn't want to go hunting that's fine I just want to talk to Yuria as well our Lord knows though she is a fellow for what till we meet again maybe all right coming up is an Orlando so to get into this area we do need to uh, go where are we going here may as well burn that uh, we need to go back to High Lord Walner's um, bonfire. We're going to progress since we did the Cathedral of the Deep and got the doll. Uh, we now have access to this area. If you don't have the doll, you do need to go beat the Deacons. Uh, there's also going to be a couple of things that I just want to touch on here. So we have a big enemy. Big enemy is horrible. Like this giant rat thing is just annoying. We'll come to that in a second. There's also uh, I keep calling her Cirrus. I'm not sure if that's her name or not, but apparently that's what I've named her. Um, she will have a summon sign after we've beaten the giant rat. 
upon talking to her in Firelink Shrine, after using it, uh, we will get the cat ring. So, I guess we can do all that by the end of the episode. You'll hear footsteps. Alright, this is your giant rat boy. Rolling towards him generally helps. Whacking him in the face generally helps too. Alright, he is really quick with those bites. This is probably one of the most freaky enemies I've encountered in Dark Souls 3, just because it's so touch and go whether you survive or not. Cool, and we got Pontiff's right eye. After that, what we're going to do is head all the way into An Orlando. We'll hit the bonfire and then we'll get uh, Cirrus's part of our quest line done. Actually, you know what? No, we'll save that for next episode. Because there's a couple of areas that I want to hit with it. Now, nah, screw it, we'll go into overtime. Alright. Sorry, indecisive. Alright, so come on through the gate here. We are looking for a yellow summon sign. Just on the ground here. Should be right here. Alright, if you remember from Dark Souls 2, uh, we met a guy named Creighton. This is exactly who we're invading right now. Cirrus, hey, I have been saying it right. This guy can be really hard. Can be. Stop that. And he has heaps of hit, uh, healing, heaps of health. There we go. Thank you for your kind assistance. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Alright. Now we have one more summon that we can go to her with and then I'm going to do some research on how to complete her quest. This may even complete her quest. I cannot remember. It's been that long. Uh, actually, from here, we'll go back to the Shrine Bonfire, because we need to talk to her in Firelink Shrine. Hmm. Alright, so we got the Silver Cat Ring, the main reason why I wanted to do this. Uh, from here, we're going to travel to the Cliff Underside. Alright, from here, we're just going to run all the way back to where we fought the, uh, the rotted Great Wood, I think it is.
And if she doesn't have a summon sign here now, we will check back later. She does not, so there must be something else I have to do. Yeah, I need to do some research on that. Not entirely sure how we progress that. Might even be killing a particular enemy. That is fine. Well, I guess we're not too much in overtime. That is better than I thought. It's probably one of my favorite areas in the game. It can be pretty tough, but it's so beautiful. All right, thank you all for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the page. I'll see you here next time for more Dark Souls 3.